I think that we're going to have to make a decision and the courts are going to have to make a decision about whether the civil and criminal juries are significant institutions in our democracy. The Founding Fathers for sure thought they were. And the Founding Generation for sure thought they were. They said no to the Constitution until they saw that there was going to be a Seventh Amendment. And from Blackstone to de Tocqueville to Madison to Hamilton, the language used about the jury as an institution of government, as a means of popular self-expression and self-governance is extraordinarily powerful. And you just read the New York Times the other day that they've basically stopped having criminal jury trials in Manhattan. The chief judge of my US District Court in Rhode Island hasn't seen a civil jury trial in three years. And um, I think we need to rebuild that institution both because it does perform those salutary for functions of having governance take place at the local level, by local people, and in an institution that isn't fixable, because it's always new people. They're not repeat players that you can make a deal with, take care of, give their brother-in-law a job, none of that. It's the cleanest institution in government, and for that reason, I think the very powerful organizations that come to government seeking things mm -hmm. are terrified and horrified. Mm -hmm. They can control the executive branch with all sorts of lobbying and political influence. They can control the legislature with all sorts of lobbying influence and electoral interference. They, and then they come to the jury. Honest. And they can't do a thing. The stuff that they, try, that they do with us day in and day out is a crime. Tampering with a jury if you try it. And to lose that spark of independence in our government when so much political power is on the loose is a terrible price to pay, and I don't think most people see, as that spark diminishes, how bad that price is going to be as it evaporates. I, I'm glad to get out there.